A deadly accident at tonight. A boat pulled from the Hudson River. Now investigators trying to figure out why it capsized. And good evening, everyone, at 11 o'clock. I'm Bill Bitter. I'm Sandra Bookman in for Sade. That boat flipped over near the Intrepid this afternoon. Two people, including a seven-year-old boy, were killed. I would assume supporter Josh Einer live on the west side with new details tonight. Josh. Yeah, Bill, we just, just got off the phone with police who have say they now believe that there were 14 people on that boat, up from what they had said before, which was 12, 14 people ranging in age from 7 to 84. A family outing on a hot day that quickly turned tragic. On the concrete shore of the roiling Hudson River, sopping wet survivors clung to hope, desperate as tragedy unfolded around them, that there must be some mistake. They were in hysteria because they were looking for the baby. They kept on screaming, baby. There wasn't. Their family's pleasure cruise became a disaster. This is a devastating moment uh, for, for them and those who are part of uh, the families that were there. Cops say a family of 12 had chartered the 12-seat Yamaha out of New Jersey and crossed to the New York side. They were by the Intrepid when the boat flipped over. Coming across the river, and we see a guy out there waving, people, boat capsized. So happened the New York Waterway Ferry was crossing the Hudson at that very moment. Aboard, some of the very same crew who rescued passengers from U.S. Airways Flight 1549, which crash-landed here more than a decade ago. Today, again, they jumped into action. You know how heavy it is to pull a 100-pound uh, person out of the water? We need to lie down on the, on the bow just, just to grab them. Two ferries plucked nine survivors from the water. It was up to police and fire divers to find the others. Obviously, anytime it's a child, it, uh, it changes, you know, your maybe your emotional state, but you just have a job to do and you do it and we, and, uh, we train for this and, and that's that's why we're that's why we're here. Firefighter Ryan Warnock got to the seven-year-old boy trapped under the boat. Rescue medics tried everything, but by the time he got to the hospital, it was too late for him and a woman who'd also been trapped. Hours later tonight, divers finally lifted the boat from the Hudson. Police vow an extensive investigation, but they say it's far too soon to know what went wrong. We had uh, the current, the wind, so you know you could have wakes approaching from different directions, waves from different directions. The Hudson River is always a dangerous place to operate. And today, it turned deadly. This family had rented the boat from a man in New Jersey who'd been actually following behind the boat on a jet ski, and he was the person who flagged down that ferry and started the rescue operation. This afternoon, police said they did not believe alcohol was a factor in this disaster, although the investigation is only now getting underway.